This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 26, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 0.41 points or 0.10% to 411.03. Total trade volume was light at 117,144 shares changing hands at a total trade value of 528 million Khmer real or roughly 128,200 US dollars. On the main board, three stocks were up, with Grand Twins International once again leading the market, up 9.58% or 250 real to 2,860 real per share. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ followed in second, up 2.31% or 50 real to 2,210 real per share, while the third stock that saw a rise in its price was Aclata Bank, up 0.27% to 7,560 real per share. On the downside, four stocks saw price drops. The Phnom Penh Autonomous Port was the biggest loser of the day, down 1.40% or 180 real to 12,700 real per share. Following in second was Pestec Cambodia, down 1.38% or 30 real to 2,150 real per share. The other two stocks down were the Sienicville Autonomous Port and the Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority. Meanwhile, on the growth board, both JS Land and DBD Engineering stayed flat. Grand Twins International recorded the highest trade volume of the day, with 35,631 shares changing hands at a value of 100.4 million Khmer real, or roughly 24,390 US dollars, accounting for around 28% of all shares traded on June 26. While Aclata Bank had the second highest trade volume of the day, with 31,018 shares changing hands, the stock's trade value was more than double of Grand Twins International, totaling 233.8 million real, or roughly 56,790 US dollars. Aclata Bank continues to be consistently among the highest traded stocks on the market, both in terms of trade volume and value. In other market news, a new 41 billion Khmer real or 9.97 million US dollar corporate green bond from Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ PLC was approved to be listed on the CSX from June 28th onwards. According to the disclosure notice posted on the CSX website, the bond has a maturity date of five years and a nominal value of 100,000 real or roughly 25 US dollars per unit. The disclosure notice also details that the bond can be partially redeemed before the maturity date, with semi-annual payments every December and June. The redemption period will begin from the second year following the bond's issuing, so from December 2026 until the end of the five-year maturity period. Aclata Bank also issued a disclosure notice to notify its investors and the public that its subsidiary in Lao PDR, Aclata Bank Lao Limited, has increased its registered capital by 40 billion Laotian Kip, or roughly 3.3 million US dollars in 2024, in order to meet the minimum registered capital requirements as per the updated Lao PDR law on commercial banks. The Bank of Lao PDR, who issued the law, raised the minimum registered capital requirements to 500 billion Laotian Kip, or 41.6 million US dollars within five years. The increase in registered capital will also result in an increase in the number of stocks listed by Aclata Bank on the CSX, from 46 million shares to 50 million shares. The Khmer real to USD strengthened slightly to 4,115 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was slightly up to 105.88. Oil prices also inched up on Wednesday, nearing their highest level in almost two months, driven by forecasts for an eventual inventory drawdown during the third quarter peak summer demand season and because of geopolitical risks from conflict in the Middle East. The American Petroleum Institute on Tuesday reported that U.S. crude oil stocks rose by 914,000 barrels. However, analysts still expect them to decline by nearly 3 million barrels in official inventory data due on Wednesday. Brent crude oil futures were up 63 cents or 0.7% to 85.64 US dollars a barrel. Gold prices were steady as investors still wait for the report on the US Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge due this week for the latest clues on the central bank's rate cut prospects. Spot gold eased 0.1% to 2,317.86 US dollars per ounce after hitting its lowest since June 18th earlier in the session. U.S. gold futures also fell 0.1% to 2,329.60 U.S. dollars. Stock futures rose on Wednesday morning after the S&P 500 rebounded from a rough start to the week. S&P 500 futures inched up 0.1%, while Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.19%. Futures tied to the Dow Jones Industrial Average were flat. This was Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for June 26th.